they use cash intensive businesses to, to mingle and co-mingle the illicit funds. Uh, and then they route the funds back overseas to territories where the IRS can't touch them. So places like the Cayman Islands, for example, and then reroute the funds back to a checking account uh, with a South American bank where the cartel can access the funds. So the scene itself does sort of, it's a little bit cringe, but it, it shows, it dramatizes the process in that, you know, he walks in with a big bag of cash, he puts it through a strip club, it then gets invest, uh, it deposited into a bank. He, the, he then sends the bank uh, transfer over to the US and you get the uh, the cartel guy going to the ATM in, in Mexico and pulling down some cash, which is far-fetched, but it is a, it's a useful enough example. Um, but that, that that is the premise of, of the of the operation. Um, Marty uses his you know his genuine position as a financial uh, advisor, financial planner. Um, he invests and buys a lot of businesses in in the Ozarks, where he can essentially cook the books, move the dirty money in with all the nice clean revenues, and then you know transfer the funds overseas. So, I mean, it, it really is a AML one hundred and one, right?